What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Goat Life TV. We show you a little bit of our digital nomad lives. We just stepped off this plane here on the island of Flores. This is our second dive location on our trip of wonders here in Indonesia. And we're going to be going to Komodo National Park on a liveaboard boat. I've never done a liveaboard before. I can't wait to get under the water here. It's supposed to be the best diving in Indonesia and possibly the best diving on the planet. So right now we're just going to go pick up our bags and go meet up with the boat. Let's do it. So we just got on our dive boat here in Komodo National Park in Indonesia. The sun is going down right now behind me. Beautiful sunset. Soon there's going to be bats flying from the jungles of those islands over here, right over our heads. We got a massive 25 meter long dive boat that we're going to be living on for two nights, three days, doing three dives a day. Look at this beautiful eating area. Here's an area just for chilling out, having beers. And down here is where our rooms are. And I'm going to show you guys my room. It's really small. But it's got air conditioning, so I'm stoked about that. Oh, and I think someone already turned the air conditioning on. Check this out. Nick! What's up, buddy? How you doing? <laughs> so, there's the air conditioning. There's my little bed. Pretty comfy looking. Got some plug-ins here. Oh, three of them, so I can plug in and charge all my stuff. So this is what we'll be saying for the next two nights. Stoked to get under the water here and go diving in Komodo National Park. Tonight, we're just gonna hang out, check all the dive gear, have dinner, relax, watch the bats fly overhead here in a few minutes, and then go to sleep early and get ready for an early morning dive. First one in Komodo National Park. So we're just sitting here having our beer at the end of the day and we can see bats coming over the horizon right here. Check this out. Unbelievable. There's already like a couple hundred of them. Morning guys. It's the first morning here on the liveaboard boat. And it's about 6.30 in the morning and right now we're getting up to go to Rinka Island. We're going to go trekking and see Komodo dragons. Uh, that's what this area is famous for, that's why it's Komodo National Park. So we're going to see some Komodo dragons and then we've got three dives today including a night dive later tonight. So it's going to be a really busy day and I didn't sleep all that much last night so I'm going to be exhausted. But let's get up and start the day. got to Rinka Island and we haven't been walking for five minutes and we saw our first dragon. It was a small one but it was pretty close. We got to walk up right next to it. Right now we're just walking on this path in the middle of the park here trying to find some more dragons. Okay we just walked a little bit further. We see another dragon. This one's a little bit bigger. Look how close you can get to them. I mean, I've seen Planet Earth. I know how fast these things can run. So I don't want to be too close. But it's sitting right there, not 15 feet away from me. Pretty cool.
Okay, that's it. We just finished up on Rinka Island, saw a few dragons, did a nice hike, flew the drone over the island, got some beautiful shots. Now we're hopping back in the boat and going on some dives. The first dive today is going to be Manta Point. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping to see some mantas. I've never seen manta rays in my life, so this is like a big bucket list item. But we never know, so fingers crossed, get in the boat and get diving. Okay, I'm sitting here with the legend of Komodo. This is John Doe, and he's been diving here for a really long time, and he actually mapped out a lot of the dive sites in the area. What year did you start diving here? Uh, 87? In 87, 1987. Been diving here for a really long time, so we know we're in good hands. Head note on this dive. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> We just got back from the dive site called Takamakasar or Manta Point and yes as you can see from the footage I did see my first Manta so stoked right now swam right up to us I had to like quickly get the GoPro going because it was off I was trying to preserve battery but he swam right at us in our group and we got to follow him for a little while and he was massive like I was just blown away at how big those things are so stoked right now and we still got two more dives today so we're gonna go to some of the best dive sites in the region and one of them is the night dive. So right now, I'm starving. I think they're just making up some lunch. We're gonna eat and then we're gonna go on our second dive. Awesome. We just finished up our second dive of the day at Batu Belong and it was beautiful. It reminded me of Sipidan in Borneo. Just a tiny little island with drop-offs on all sides. Gorgeous amount of coral on the shelf and there was tons of turtles down there. We saw one shark. We saw a bunch of massive tuna swimming around. We saw two more eels sitting side by side. Just a ton of sea life down there and the sun is already set but tonight we're doing a night dive so we're getting prepared. We're gonna have some dinner and then hop down in pitch black. See what Komodo has to offer at night. We can find space there, sir. And Bye. Bye.
I think that is one of the craziest days I've ever had in travel. Woke up this morning early, went to the Rinka Island and walked around with Komodo dragons. Then went on a dive where we saw manta rays for my first time ever. Then we went on another dive, we saw like seven or eight turtles, shark, uh, just a ton of sea life on one of the most beautiful dives I've ever seen in my life. And then we finished the day off with a night dive which we just finished a couple hours ago and it was just gorgeous. We took the flashlights down there, we got to see octopus, a shark again, some squid, a lionfish, it was just fantastic diving. Now I'm gonna go to sleep early, it's about 10 o'clock right now because we're getting up tomorrow morning to go see the stars and watch sunrise over one of the islands around here, so I can't wait to check that out too. Kinda wish I could sleep in a little bit, but it'll be nice to see sunrise, so that'll be tomorrow morning. All right, it's uh, 3.45 in the morning. Just woke up and uh, we're getting up to go do a star hike to see stars and to see sunrise, so gotta get up. Let's do it. Okay, we made it to the top of the hill. It was about a half an hour, but it was exhausting because it's way too early in the morning right now to be hiking. But we're at the top right now, looking up at the stars. They're beautiful, and soon the sun's gonna be rising right here in front of us, so we just gotta wait for that. We've been waiting at the top of this mountain here for about an hour, and the sun is just starting to light up these clouds. It's gonna be poking up over the sea any minute now. Check out this beautiful view we got. So the star walk and the sunrise is done. It was absolutely breathtaking up here. Flew the drone a little bit and just hung out and watched as the sun came up over the sea. It was just gorgeous. Now we're gonna head back down the mountain, get back on the boat, have some breakfast. We're all hungry. And then we're gonna go back to diving. Let's do it.
just finished up our last dive here in the Komodo National Park in Indonesia and I gotta say this part of Indonesia is definitely some of the best diving. There was a lot of hype before coming here but now seeing it it's better than Alor, I'd say because it has all that colorful coral, lots of fish life but also it's got the big pelagic so you see like manta rays, sharks and big tuna on almost every dive so this is probably one of my favorite dive spots I've ever been to to this day and I'm a little sad to be saying goodbye now. We're on the liveaboard boat and we're just cruising back to the mainland and we'll be heading to our next dive destination Raja Ampat. So stay tuned for that guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe. That's another episode of Goat Life TV. See you guys next week. Bye.